So when we are establishing our youth football programs, we have a standard in place. We have a set of rules and guidelines that we follow, all right? Number one, we got the mindset that the standard is the standard, okay? I'm going to say that again. The standard is the standard. If you don't have set standards in place, intentional rules, guidelines, outcomes, and metrics set in place, you're setting yourself up for failure. So we have some pillars that we go by to set the tone of our youth football program. And we don't care if I start a youth football program in Alabama California, New York, you name it, we're going to go by these standards. So number one, we look at academics. We want to make sure our student athletes are students first, all right? Then number two, we're looking at athletic performance. We want to make sure that our student athletes are excelling both on the field and off the field. And of course, character development. We want our kids to be good people. We want our kids to be somebody who's looked up to and admired, all right? And then lastly, community. We believe that we are leaders in the community and we have a responsibility to the community to serve the community and to represent the community in its best form, all right? Now, as coaches, we also have a responsibility to our student athletes, all right? Our responsibility is to teach, critique, and demand execution, all right? Teach, critique, demand execution. What a lot of coaches do is they're good at teaching, but they don't like critiquing. They don't like demanding execution. And so as a result, you have a lot of mediocre play on the football field. You have a lot of mediocrity going on in the classroom. We are teach, critiquing, and demanding execution in every facet of the game because, again, our pillars is academics, athletic performance, character, and community. So if you're doing everything you're supposed to do as a coach, which are holding your kids accountable with executing the pillars I just talked about, and if you're teaching, critiquing, and demanding execution, you should get a certain set of results, all right? It should be fun. You should be making leaders. Your players should have high character. And most importantly for me, the kids are going to have a winning mindset throughout their entire life, both on the field and off the field. When their athletic career is up, they should still have that winning mentality. They should still should have high character. They still should be a leader, and they should have a fun field life. The biggest mistake I see coaches make, especially youth football coaches make, is that their standard is rooted in fun. Their standard is rooted in fun, and as a result, everything else gets neglected. So if the kids get blown out on a regular basis, it's okay because they had fun. The kids are not becoming leaders. They, they don't have high IQ or EQ in the name of fun. The kids are got low character. As long as little Johnny is having fun, it doesn't matter how many times he gets suspended in the name of fun. This is the biggest mistake that youth football coaches are making. You have to have pillars in which you hold your kids accountable. You hear me? You got to have these pillars in place. It cannot just be fun. Fun needs to be the result of hard work and execution, teaching, critiquing, and demanding this execution. And the last point I want to make is that we don't see our program as a youth football program, all right? We see our program as a high school prep program. We want to prepare each one of our kids from 6U up to 12U, 13U. We want to prepare them to be excellent student athletes, right, in middle school and high school. We want them to come prepared because one of the biggest complaints I hear from high school football coaches is that youth football coaches are not teaching the kids the fundamentals of the game, the fundamentals of blocking, how to get in the three-point stands, how to have leadership, how to think critically. So that is your responsibility as a youth football coach to teach your kids the, the traits that, that's needed to be successful. That's why it goes all the way back to academics, athletic performance, 
character, and community. So our mindset is we are a high school prep program. We're trying to prepare our kids for the next level. And once they get to high school, their coach should be preparing them to go to the next level, which is college. And if it's not college, if they're graduating from high school, going straight into a career, they should be dominating in their career. Why? Because you have taught them the value of character, community, academics, and athletic performance, all right? They are, have became leaders. They have high character. They have a winning mindset, and they're having fun doing it. That's what it's all about with being a game changer at the youth football level. Beast out.